We always talk about digitalization of business processes, marketing, production, and you often ask questions like, okay, looks sweet in theory, but has anyone benefited from all these digital blah, blah, blah? Hey, it's Mark from Glass Open Book, and let me guide you through the digital solutions presented in the Glass App section of Glass Open Book that you have probably seen on the platform, but never really decided to learn more about. And it's quite understandable. We're used to the idea that digital solutions are some overcomplicated things that cost a lot and take half a year to learn how to use. I'm here to tell you that it's not always like that. We prefer to make it different, and some businesses discover a world of new possibilities to improve their processes when they come across digital solutions presented on GAP. In this video, I would love to introduce you to the GCFDA app presented by Epic Limited Company. GCFDA stands for the Glass Container for Defects app, and based on the name, you probably understand that it's an encyclopedia of various defects on the glass containers and jars. And it really is. GCFDA is a digital glass defects manual that provides information about common glass defects, including glass defects pictures, standard names, and causes and remedies. This app contains information about the sources of defects in glass bottles and jars for any glass container forming process. This application is a tool that facilitates the uniform use of terminology by customers and glass plants when discussing defective glass bottles and jars. More than 1,200 images allow easy identification of the defect, even if you have zero knowledge of the correct glass defect name. Now, who is this useful for? Who can take the benefit of using GCFDA? Well, the obvious answer is the people who want to increase their competence in the field of glass making. But it doesn't stop there. Brand owners and fillers can use GCFDA to identify defects in glass bottles or jars with the correct technical term of the defect, while discussions with the glass producers to avoid misunderstanding. We've been lucky to get feedback from one of the companies in Ireland called Blenders that is making top-of-the-range mayonnaise, bouillons, sachets, cooking sauces, table sauces, dressings, and cavalry sauces. Aaron Cotter, who is the head of engineering at Blenders, shared with us their experience. So, hello, Aaron. Hi, Mark. How are you keeping? Yeah, pretty well. What about you? Good, good. Busy, busy. Amazing, amazing. So, um, I'm calling you because I've heard that you've made a great use of GCFD app uh, that is presented on Glass Open Book uh, platform. So, could you give a quick introduction of your company and the products you provide and how you might use of it? Uh, the company is called Blenders. Uh, we're one of the largest uh, sauce manufacturers in Ireland. Um, we do everything from small sachets and dip pots right up to one ton tanks of all the condiments, mayonnaise, ketchup, so on. We also do jarred sauces, uh, stirring mixes, uh, bolognese sauce, that kind of thing. We also do dry powders, curries, uh, gravies, uh, bouillons. So we do quite a wide range of different products, uh, primarily for the Irish market, uh, supermarkets, uh, the main supermarkets within the country. Um, we also have own brand. Um, yeah, so we're, we're pretty busy, especially over the last two years. We've seen phenomenal growth. Yeah. Uh, Quite odd, but I think everybody across the industry is seeing good growth, especially within the food industry. Um, the reason why we came across your company was pure accident. We had an issue with our jar line where we were getting what's known in the industry as popped caps. So a lot of the customers would know um, if a jar is, is not sealed properly, there's a little button on it that's popped. Mm -hmm. So we were seeing a lot of that. Um, we we're seeing high torques, which is where the customer would, would find it quite difficult to remove the cap. I see. So we've been uh, looking and speaking to the suppliers of caps and jars for almost a year. Mm -hmm. We weren't really getting anywhere, and uh, we searched the internet for causes or solutions. We were speaking to the machine manufacturer and so on. I actually came across your company purely by accident. I can't remember what keyword I put in, but uh, your company was in the top four. So when I start, once I delved into the company, I could see you had a, an encyclopedia of 
every conceivable jar manufacturing issue out there. Yeah. So as a going through that, we spotted what we thought potentially was what was causing our issue. So I made contact with the guys um, and said, listen, we have this problem. We're not sure whether it's, it's, it is a problem or it's not a problem. The manufacturer tell us would inspect. We don't think so. So uh, backward and forward communication for two or three months. We finally sent samples. And lo and behold, a report came back identifying three issues. Um, Amazing. Sent that report on to the glass manufacturer, and he's finally admitted that there is an issue on his end. All right. He, it was it was fantastic, fantastic result. I see. So yeah, that's quite an unusual use case uh, because your company is not a glass manufacturer, but nevertheless, no clue about the glass manufacturing process. We had no clue the different defects obviously within our industry and our process we keep an eye on known issues and problems we've all tests and procedures and quality controls to to maintain a good safe quality high quality product but um, when we're accepting a, a primary package from a supplier we're relying a lot of of the expertise from that supplier there's a lot mm -hmm. of trust um, so when the supplier is saying, listen, there's no issue, we have to trust that. Yeah. We don't have the expertise to argue the point. So it was really fantastic to come across your company to be able to give some insight into how the industry works, uh, the type of defects that we should look out for. Um, we were calling the issue a dip. We knew that there was a dip in the in the glass jar, mm -hmm. uh, but subsequently through your website, we know what's called a saddle. Yeah, so it that there's a terminology behind our issue, which was the first uh, step to, in the right direction to us. So we knew, okay, right, these guys know what they're talking about, um, and being able to assist. I see. So, uh, amazing use case, and thanks a lot for your comment. And maybe for the final words, what businesses, in your opinion, can benefit from using solutions like GCFDA? I think within the small to medium sized companies who don't have the in house um, technical experience, I know some of the larger companies, multinationals, they might have packaging specialists who, who are, are highly trained in in plastic containers or cardboard containers or glass jars or whatever, you know, they're, they're really qualified and, and, and up to speed on what to look out for. But mm -hmm. for small to medium sized companies, we rely on, on the supplier. We, mm -hmm. The supplier and, and our relationship is, a lot of it is based on trust, um, which is fine. But the odd time, you do need to have a lot of insight um, and support. I guess we're not going to experience an issue every day or every week. So having having specialist glass uh, jar manufacturing experts within our own companies is not really beneficial. I mean, we probably come across a problem once a year, once every two years. So having somebody out there that if we do have an issue we could say hey guys listen we think we have an issue here what do you think and for you guys to come back to say yeah you do have an issue or there's no issue here we can park that and move on to the next part of the problem solving uh, process so definitely small to medium size industries within the food industry but i guess there's a lot of small to medium size businesses out there like cosmetics um vaping uh, industry, uh, you know, there's a lot of other companies that utilize uh, standard jars and standard container sizes that mm -hmm. might necessarily have the in-house expertise that would definitely benefit. Yeah. I, I would also suggest looking at the search terminology. So if you, if you think of someone in my position who doesn't know what a saddle is or what the terminology is, um, an easier way for somebody who's not qualified to find your company. 
I guess, because once we found it, yeah, it's it's definitely going to stay as part of our, our support businesses. So we, we definitely keep in our address book. I see. Okay, uh, thanks a lot, Aaron. Thanks a lot for your time. Yes, no uh, I will not take uh, any any more of your time uh, today, but I really appreciate your comments and your feedback, and it's very, very precious. And yeah, uh, we are always, uh, we will always welcome you to, to use our products and our software solutions, and we are very glad that someone has found them super useful for their business and improving their quality of their final products. Listen, guys, thank you as well for, for all your help and expertise. You saved us a huge amount of uh, waste of time and effort and everything else. Like uh, We really appreciate it that you've gone above and beyond what we would thought that you would do. We weren't expecting a report and such a professional report either, but listen, thanks a million and keep up the, the good work. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. We wish you a lot of success. Thanks a lot. You too. So have a great day. Bye. See you later. Thanks a lot, Aaron, for sharing this amazing story of using GCFDA, which helped to improve the quality of the final product. Feel free to share this video with those who you think can benefit from this tool. It's been Mark from Glass Open Book. See you very shortly. Goodbye.